Pittsburgh Steelers are still working. It's late. Pittsburgh's getting dark. The Steelers are making moves. Re-signing defensive tackle Larry Ogunjobi to a three-year, $28.75 million deal. He'll get $21.75 million in his first two seasons. Look, Larry Ogunjobi is a piece that you easily bring back. The money was the conversation. It wasn't the fit. He fits in Pittsburgh. Cam Hayward was very excited to have him back tweeting a hell yeah. Mike Tomlin loves him. He fits well at the defensive line. He plays well at defensive end, replacing Stefan to it, something the Pittsburgh Steelers were searching for and they seemingly found. The thing is, there's not a ton of splash. You're not going to get too much with Larry Ogunjobi. You're going to get consistency, definitely. But at times, that consistency is just a few tackles a game. At times, that consistency is two tackles a game. He's always there. He's always present. He can make a play at any time. And he's never going to give up a big play, which I think works in his favor heavily in this circumstance. But at the same time, I think you could excel a little bit more at that position. I think you could find more upside for the price that the Steelers are willing to pay. I had Larry O pegged a little bit below what he signed for last year, which was a one year, $8 million deal. I thought he'd get about six, $7 million per season. Instead, he's looking at a little bit over $10 million, $10.5 million over the first two years. Expensive. Definitely expensive. I'll say this. The Pittsburgh Steelers have themselves a defensive end for the next three-ish years. I don't know if he'll play all three. He's only 28 years old, but but he will be 29 by the beginning of the season. So three-ish years. At that point, you have DeMarvin Leal and Isaiah Loudermilk as depth. You feel very good about both of those pieces. If you continue to sign in free agency and maybe land a guy like Bud Dupree, you have the outside linebacker room filled. You find a nose tackle either in free agency or in the NFL draft, which seems a little bit more logical. Your defensive line is looking very, very good. The Steelers have other holes that they obviously need to fill, but defensive line was an easy one that they could avoid, and I think that was high priority for them is to just say, hey, look it. We don't want to risk having bigger issues because we shot for the stars in too many positions. I get that. I think Omar Khan took a smart approach with re-signing Larry Ogunjobi, even if it was for a higher price tag. And overall, the Pittsburgh Steelers have a guy that they feel confident in who has made big plays for them this past season, who will likely make big plays for them moving forward, and they don't have to worry about it anymore. Not an A but certainly not an F for the Pittsburgh Steelers.